Here we're given the graph of this ellipse, and then we're going to find an equation for this. And to do that, we have to first recall the standard form of the ellipse. We have the parentheses x minus h inside raised to a second power over a squared, and then we add. For the ellipse situation, we have a plus in the middle. The second part is parentheses y minus k inside and then raised to a second power over b squared, and then this is equal to 1. This is the equation for the ellipse when the center is at h comma k. As we can see in our situation here, this ellipse, the center is at 0, 0. So that means h will be 0 and the k will be 0. So the inside here, you see, we will just have x minus 0. So that we will just have x to the second power. So let's write that down. We will have x to the second power, and then we will have over a squared, and then we add it with the second part because the k is also 0. So that means we will have y inside. We have y to the second power over b squared. And then this is equal to 1. And then this is how we are going to figure out the a value and the b value right here. Because once we have that, we are pretty much done. For the a value, as you can see, the a value is underneath the x. And then you have to remember, you associate the x with left or right, horizontal movement. And to figure out the a value, we go to the center, and then we have to count how many times do we move from the center onto the ellipse. So as you can see from here, you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This number right here is 7. So you see that we move to the right 7 times. That means a will be 7. So we can plug in a is equal to 7. So right here we will have x squared over 7 squared. And let me just write this down for now, 7 to the second power. And then we add it with the second part. We will have y squared over b squared. And what's the b value? Remember, you see that b is underneath the y, so you associate that with up or down. You go to the center, you can just count up or down, up to you. I will choose to go up. I will just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You see that we have to move up. 5 times. So that means, you see, the 5 will be for the b. So we will have 5 to the second power. And then that will give us equal to 1. So 5 to the second power, this is equal to 1. At the end, don't forget you square it out, right? So all in all, we will have x squared over 7 squared, that's 49. And then we add it with y squared over 5 squared, that's 25. And then this is equal to 1. And as you can see, b will be the answer. That's it.